Hi guys and welcome to WebDev Tutorials. So in this video we're going to create a bootstrap testimonial section. So we'll have an image, we'll have a text and the name and the occupation. Okay, so what we need to have first of all is the images the index file and the style sheet so i've already created my starter page so i've included the fonts which i'm using uh, not to sound from google then we have font home so minified css bootstrap minified css will have jquery as well and the bootstrap minified jps and of course our style sheet so first we need to create a div with a class of container within that we'll have a div with a class of row and then inside that we'll have a div with a name of colon d8 and then call center and the last one will be m auto Then here we'll have the H2, that's going to be our title, so testimonials. Next we'll have a div with ID of my carousel. Then we add few more classes here so carousel and then slide and the next one will be data right carousel okay next is the div with a class of carousel inner and then inside here we'll have another div with a class of item then causal item and the active so now here we'll have the image so img the div with a class of img box Just take this closing this and paste it at the end next is the paragraph Just add the class of testimonial. Next is the name. So we add name and the occupation. We need to add class as well, so we'll be over view and we need to make this one bold so we use the b tags the closing one here at the end okay so let's just copy all this and paste it three times because we're going to create three so ju let's just remove this active class because this one will be the first one which will show okay and uh, next is the the carousel controls so the 
this will be my Farzel. And we'll give a class of we're going to have a few classes here. Farzel control will be left and Carousel control preview. So preview. And we add as well data slide. Next is the icon, so the left icon. Let's give a class of FA. That's the class for font awesome icons. So angle left and actually this tag is the closing one, so I'll put it here. I'll just copy them. Just change this one to right. This will be right as well. Now we have everything. So let's see. Just have to change the images here to and three. And we change different names. Now let's go to our style sheet. So the next thing we're going to style sheet. The first thing is the body. So the font family. I'm going to use the native sounds just to give a padding of 40 top and bottom and left and right. Then we style the H2 as the title, change the color, going to text align it to center, then uh, text transform will be uppercase, the font family will be the same one, font weight will be bold. And position will be a relative. And we give a margin of 30 pixels, 0 and 60 pixels. Now we need to style the underline here. So we do that by using the after pseudo class. So we add content, will be empty give a width of 140 pixels, position will be absolute, give a margin of zero auto, so it will be in the middle, we'll give a height of three pixels, then we change the background color, then left will be zero, right zero, bottom will be negative 10 pixels, 
and then the opacity will be 8. Okay, next one will be the section, testimony section. So let's start with call center. As the class to center it, so margin will be 0 auto. Load will be none and we get import okay. and then next is the carousel here margin of 50 pixels and auto and the padding of 0 70 pixels next is the carousel item give color of 999 then the font size will be 14 pixels text align center overflow will be hidden and the minimum height will be 290 pixels and next is the carousel that will be item and the uh, mg box give the width of 135 pixels height will be 135 pixels as well for the image, so margin 0 auto will be centered, padding of 5 pixels from all sides, border will be 1 pixel solid, and the color will be 3Ds. We make it around, so border radius will be 50 percent. Uh, okay. Next is the carousel, then IMG box, and IMG width will be 100 pixels, height as well 100 pixel percent. Display will be block, and the border radius will be 50 percent. Okay, next is the carousel control. Oh no, just carousel and testimonial. Give padding of 30 pixels, 0, 10 pixels. Then carousel overview. Give font style italic then carousel the overview B the bold so text transform will be uppercase and we change color this one. So next one is carousel control. So carousel control. Give a width of 40 pixels, height of 40 pixels. Margin top will be minus 20 pixels. Top will be 50 percent. And the background will be none. Okay, next one is the causal control icon. So font size 
will be 68 pixels. Line height will be, let's give it a 42 pixels. Position will be absolute. We're going to display it in line block. We get the color of our GPA zero zero zero, and then the last one will be zero point eight. The text shadow will be zero three pixels three pixels. We give this color e six e six e six. another value here okay now we target carousel indicators so carousel again indicators so we give bottom of negative 40 pixels and next is carousel indicators li of the list and then carousel indicators li active give width of 10 pixels height of 10 pixels Give margin of one pixel, three pixels. Border radius will be fifty percent. Next is Carswell indicators ally. We give a background of nine nine nine. We change the border color to transparent and then box shadow we give a inset shadow so inside two pixels one pixel RGBA and then we give these values for black color and the very last one will be the same causal indicators li active give background of 555 and let's copy this because it's the same box shadow Just save it. Okay, I think I have an issue here. Let's go back to index. Uh, yeah, so this one should be next, and this as well next. So the left one will be preview, preview, and the right one next, next. This should work. Okay. Great. Thanks guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and see you next one. Bye.